Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's Aunt Mimi. Yay. Um, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well this morning. Um, I've got my cats in the room with me, so if you hear any noise, it's them. Today I'm going to read one of the most adorable and interesting books that I have seen in a while. Um, August knows this book. We read it at a beach house together. Um, and it's really cute. It's called I'm a Narwhal. Woo! So, here we go. I'm a Narwhal. I am not a unicorn. I am not a fish. Piper! She is not allowed on the desk, but she's testing her boundaries. Um, I'm a narwhal! Yay! I look magical, but I'm really just a kind of whale. My closest relatives are the beluga whale, the dolphin, and the porpoise. Ooh, I like the artwork in this book too. It's very cute. I live in the cold Arctic waters with my pod, or family. I can dive very deep and hold my breath under the ice for a long time. In the spring, narwhals swim to warmer bays. This is called migration. Once there, we like to lie on the water surface and rest. This is called logging. Piper is not supposed to be in that shelf either. I'm just gonna let it go for right now until she breaks something, then I will get her out. Long ago, when narwhal horns were found on the beach, people thought they were magical unicorn horns. Wouldn't you? Excuse me. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! My horn is actually a big front tooth, or tusk. It grows in a spiral right through my upper lip. It helps me taste the salt in the water and find the right places to hunt. No! Go away! Not you guys, the cat. <clears throat> Boy narwhals are usually the ones with tusks, but some girls have them too. That's really interesting. wonder why. Because I'm a narwhal, I can stun a tasty codfish or squid with my tusk, then suck the meal into my mouth. Yum! I communicate with clicking and knocking sounds. Humans don't know what I'm saying, but my friends and family do. I may not be a unicorn, but I am magical in my own way. Cause I'm a narwhal. The end. I love that book. It's so cute. Um, there's Pancake. Pancake? Pancake? Hi! <laughs> um, I think that Piper is hiding. <laughs> I think Piper's hiding, hiding behind the mirror. Um, we like leaned it up against the wall and there's like a little bit of space in between the wall and the mirror. Um, because it's heavy and 
They don't want it to fall and break. You know, it's bad luck if you break a mirror. Um, especially that one that's like really big. Um, and so now it's Piper's favorite hiding place. She's an opportunist for hiding places. And Pancake is watching her. is actually pretty funny. I didn't know that this was gonna happen so perfectly for us. We get to watch the cats play. Maybe. Piper! Piper! <laughs> so I can see her in the corner. <laughs> She's right there where Pancake went, um, but it's hard to see with this camera, but I can see. <laughs> Pancake can see her, obviously. Oh my gosh. Pancake, you're so beautiful in the mirror. Isn't she pretty? Pancake is a very beautiful cat. She's beautiful and she's got a wonderful personality. Um, <clears throat> she has not had the greatest um, attitude towards Piper, but you know, she's lived alone in this house for three years. It's basically her domain. Um, and so I think when you've got that kind of a situation where the cat has been the queen for four year, almost four years, for three years, um, and then you introduce like a little kitten into the mix, the older cat is going to get jealous, and um, she's going to act out and be different. But she's actually come a long way since Piper got here. She, um, she uh, doesn't, like, scream. <laughs> like, she doesn't do the crazy cat scream at Piper anymore. But she does hiss at her sometimes, and she does attack her sometimes. So, there's that. Um, but for the most part, uh, I think Pancake is starting to like her. Definitely tolerating her a lot more. So, I'm grateful for that, because it was getting kind of sad in our house for a while. Like, when um, Pancake was just being mean to Piper all the time, we had to separate them, and yeah, it's better now. And I think it's because of the um, we got this special mist kind of thing. Um, we can't smell it, but cats can smell it. Um, and it's a special scent in the air that makes the cats calmer, um, and I think it's really working very well for Pancake. So. That's good. But in the mornings, they always play like this. So this is pretty typical. Um, <laughs> okay, they're just going to be doing that the whole time. Um, so this whole video doesn't need to be them playing and being crazy. Anyway, um, I love you guys. I have to do my grown-up, boring grown-up work now. Um because it's the last day of the month. So it's really important um, for one of my clients, the property manager, it's a hard time for property managers actually. Um, we're kind of scared, but it'll be okay, I think, for him, at least for April. Um, but yeah, so the last day of the month is like a lot of work for me. I have to enter all the previous month transactions and then this is so boring. <laughs> get the ending balances for each of the properties and there's like 60 properties so yay me um it's fine though I'm so grateful to have my job still very happy um so I understand that I am privileged in that way um and I'm praying for all of my friends and family that have lost their jobs um and I really hope that um all the promises that the government has made will come true and we won't 
all sink financially. Anyway, this has turned a little bit too serious for children, so I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Um, please tell me what your favorite part of the book was, of the Narwhal book. What was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part is when he said, I'm not a unicorn. Because I think that's a, a common misconception of Norwals. So, tell me what your favorite part was. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!